Bruce Naylor, your Frugal Tech. Uh, the title of this vid video, um, Windows 7, the $49 Vista Service Pack. Uh, I have 11 different points that I want to make uh, about this um, about this video. I wrote them down here. I wanted to read them to you. Now listen, the first point is Microsoft just recently announced a pre-order pricing for purchasing the upgrades of Windows 7 uh, for the home premium and the professional versions. The home premium is $49 and the, uh, the professional edition is $99. Now the second point is um, uh, that this is basically limited uh, from I believe June the 26th through July the 11th. Then the upgrade pricing uh, will, will be higher. Now, uh, actually, I should say second point is this: uh, this is limited in time and in quantity. Uh, Microsoft's really not specul or saying uh, just how many copies they're going to agree to sell for these prices. My third point is, uh, of course, that you can obtain these at Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, and other retailers. Uh, number four, corporate vice president, his name's Brad Brooks, was uh, asked, well, okay, $49 for the upgrade for uh, Windows Home Premium. Uh, Apple's only charging $29 for their upgrade of OS X Snow Leopard. To that, he responded that well even more or less Apple would admit that it's just a service pack and well Microsoft has got a policy of not charging for service packs. One number five. Oh really? How about the fact that Windows 7 relies heavily on the Vista code base? How many users who bought new computers or the physical upgrade media to Vista or new copies of Vista are or were unhappy with the, this resource heavy, slow, and buggy operating system. Number six, now comes the shiny new uh, Windows 7, shipping unusually fast for Microsoft, actually ahead of schedule, that basically, except for the new taskbar and some other improvements, uh, that still looks and behaves much like Vista. Uh, number uh, seven, Apple has reworked OS X Leopard, rewriting the Finder, making it fully 64-bit, uh, including things like support for Exchange Server 2007, refining QuickTime, uh, cutting down on the amount of space that it takes, uh, that the install takes, making it faster overall. Uh, and then let's take a look at number my next point, number eight. Microsoft reworked its code base, uh, tweaked the user interface. So you got a new taskbar. You have uh, the uh, arrow shake. You have arrow peak, arrow snap, um, a, 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 an improved kernel, a little faster boot time. Uh, it's kind of what you get. There's been some changes to some of the uh, the oily bits of the software under the hood. Um, so, my next point, number nine, I submit, and um, I mean this very seriously, I submit that Microsoft is not playing by its own rules, and that Windows 7 is essentially fits the same definition as a service pack that they are using with Apple OS X Snow Leopard. Point ten, finally, I believe anyone who paid either directly or indirectly for Vista should demand Mr. Brooks make good on his statement that Microsoft does not charge for service packs. And finally, one last point. I know I said finally before. Hey, it's getting good to me. One last point. OS X Snow Leopard, uh, the version upgrade is $29. One version to choose from, not six, but one. No restrictions, no special offers. As I said, no six different versions or $29 service pack. You be the judge. And of course, there's always Linux, which I've never paid for anything with Linux. Never paid for the operating system. Never paid for service packs. Never paid for uh, full versions. But that's Microsoft's takes.
Uh, if it's Apple, it's a service pack. If we do it, why, it's, a, it's an upgrade. I can understand that point if you're talking about from going from XP to Windows 7. I cannot get that point if you're talking from Vista to Windows 7. Uh, listen, we're also having a drawing on June the 30th uh, for this Apple iPod. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel and be in our live chat at frugalbrothers.com. Click the link that says Frugal Tech Live from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I always love to hear your comments, your feedback. Tell me if you think Windows 7 is a Vista service pack or indeed a, uh, a full upgrade. You let me know. I always enjoy your comments and, do, and to hear from you. I'm Bruce Nader, your Frugal Tech. I'll talk to you later.